Welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm going to talk about Microsoft Teams live events and how to get the reports and the recording after you've had the live event. So you might want to download and share the recording of the meeting with those who couldn't attend, or you might just want to keep it as an archive of the meetings that you've held. You may also want the reports to understand who attended and what kind of questions they asked because this might inform future meetings and the agenda of the meetings. So in order to make sure that you get the reports and the recording, you need to specify that when you create the live event in the first place. To create the live event, you go to new meeting, you choose new live event, give it a name. And then when you go to next, you'll see that you have options here. To run a Q&A, you obviously need to check Q&A and the attendee engagement report will be checked by default. Also, recording available to attendees will be there by default as well. So unless these have been purposely switched off, you should be OK. Now, obviously, the reports and the recordings won't be available until after the meeting is finished. So once you've ended the meeting, you stop the video. Teams will then go away and process the video ready for it to be downloaded. So it won't be there immediately. You sometimes have to wait a few minutes or longer, depending on the length of the meeting. But where you find these downloads is by going back into the meeting. So here's my company meeting here. If I go in and scroll down, you'll see I've got this section called live event resources and it might be collapsed like that. You just need to expand it. And then you'll see you've got the recording, the Q&A report, the attendee report. The recording is a download which you can download from here and the same for these two as well. You can also disable recording for attendees. So if you don't want them to be able to download it themselves, then you can disable downloading from here. To download the recording, you just hit the download button. Depending on the size of the recording, it will download and to go and have a look at the download, you just go to the file section of Teams, go to downloads, and you'll see I've got the recording here. Now it's named it too, because I already had a recording in there already. So that you can see it's downloaded just now. And if I want to run it, I can just click on and open that file. And there it is. So let's go back to the calendar. Let's open up the meeting. And this time we'll download the Q&A report. This time it's a, a CSV file, which, is, which you can open up in Excel. And once that's downloaded again, you go to the file section, go to downloads. Here's the Q&A report. We'll just open that and it'll open that up in Excel. And you'll see a list of questions and answers and who asked and answered them. So you can see the attendee here was Patty and she asked this question and then the response was by the moderator Matt Munslow and that's the response. So this might be really useful just to get a feel for what sentiment was during the meeting and inform future agendas. So if lots of people are asking the same type of question or have a, a particular interest, perhaps you could schedule a future meeting around that particular interest. All right, lastly, Back to the calendar, we can look at the, the engagement report. So if I download this, go back to my download section. This one is also CSV, so it opens up in Excel. And here we can see who joined. So we get their ID, which is their login name. We get their full name the type of device or browser on the device that they were using. So this probably looks like a lot of gobbledygook, but it's actually got some interesting information in it. The user agents basically um, identifies the type of browser that the user was using. So that might be useful. So if you want to understand how people are attending, so are they doing it from their desktops or from their phones or in the browser or whatever, that's really useful information. Then over here we've got when they joined and when they left as well. So you can also glean from that information whether people actually hung on for the duration of the meeting or whether they got bored and dropped off. All right, so that's managing your recording and your reports for your Microsoft Teams live event. 
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.